What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Look, in today's video, we are going to be rebuilding the Troy Trojan, the men of Troy. Look, Troy is my alma mater, so it's a place that's near and dear to my heart. I spent three and a half years there, so I'm really hoping we can get them a national championship today. Anyways, y'all comment below how many seasons do you think it's going to take for me to get them a natty? Me, I think it might take about eight. That's my guess, so let's see if we can beat it. Anyways, Troy's a two-star program coming in right around a 76 overall, so this might be a bit of a challenge, but I have faith we can do it. Y'all make sure you like the video, and if you want to see more rebuilds like this, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next one. See ya. So yeah, we're going to be starting as the head coach, and we will be creating our own coach. Now, this is the big question here of the backstory. I've gone down all three of these different times, and... Uh, I'm between recruiter and motivator, okay? Recruiter because, look, we got to get good players in and motivator because we want to grow our good players. I think recruiter is going to be more important off the rip because we got to get good players in before we have anybody to build up. So that's going to be our primary focus. And then we'll probably branch on once we get a few seasons in down the motivator tree. Then physique, let's get this, okay. All right, yes, yeah, so we got 510. Not 290. I'm not 290. And a lean 220. We'll leave it there. So look, Troy, really over the last eight years, has been a pretty solid Sunbelt team. 2016 was when I first started going there. But my three and a half years there, we were very good. Um, 2016, we went into Clemson and we almost upset them. We beat Nebraska in Nebraska. 2017, we went into death valley and beat lsu for their homecoming game i was at that it was freaking insane and then 2018 i don't know if we beat anybody notable in 2018 but we went 10 and 3 great season then we had our head coach neil brown he left went to west virginia we brought in uh chip Lindsay, i think is his name he didn't do that great for us he was auburn offense coordinator before as you can see five and seven five and six five and seven and then we brought back good old John Summerall, former defensive linebacker coach underneath uh, Neil Brown. He went and he was a Kentucky linebacker coach, came back as a head coach in two fantastic seasons, um, two Sunbelt championships, and then he just recently left to go become the head coach of Tulane. So kudos to him, but that's where we pick off. Now to start, let's go ahead and spend our coach abilities. Like I said, we're going down the recruiter tree, and I think the biggest focus right now needs to be the interior offensive line, the offensive line, really, just in general. My first focus is going to be the offensive line, defensive line, and then quarterback, right? We got to get the big boys in the trenches started. Now, let's go take a look at Troy's roster. 76 overall, so it's not bad. I actually got some king, uh, some beasts. Daniel King here is a stud. Chris Lewis, beast. Unfortunately, he's not going to be playing in real life because of some medical um, circumstances, but in the game, he's an animal, okay? So these are our two stud guys that are going to hopefully lead us to a Sunbelt Championship this year. We'll see. Troy in the sim, I, I, I did a test run on this, and they're not the best in sim. So, quarterback, we got two close guys here. Goose Crowder, the junior, and Tucker Kilcrease. But I'm pretty sure we're going to go with Goose Crowder just because higher overall, higher awareness. I think the awareness rating really does matter in uh, the sim. So he's going to be our guy. Nobody of, you know, Troy has always had pretty good running backs historically, but they've always been good running back by committee. Jordan Chun kind of just mine. He was there when I was there and he was a stud. Now, like I said, Chris Lewis, just animal in this game. Okay. Um, most of the time he stays after his junior year, which is going to be fantastic because he's going to be a good piece for us next year. And then uh, a lot of juniors, some freshmen here. So pretty good receiver core. Okay. Solid tight ends. 68 left tackle is going to be rough. 70 left guard, 79 center, but the 87 right guard. He's a beast. Our best offensive lineman, our anchor. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I'm seeing when I'm going through their roster here. We've got a good mix of underclassmen right now that maybe we'll be able to develop and be actual playmakers later in on the series for us once we get to year two, year three, maybe even into year four, right? If they're still here. you know. So if we can develop our own talent on top of bringing in some guys, I, uh, I think... I think this can be a pretty good rebuild. With this, like I said, we're not going to really be playing a lot of games. Every now and then we'll jump into a big one or once we get to the playoffs, possibly. But so much of it's going to rely on the recruiting. We got to build this team up, okay? So a lot of it's going to be on the recruiting screen. We're going to be focused on guys that are under-recruited because this is a challenge, but it's in the game meant to be found and it's not broken, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing here. Four stars. Let's see. Okay, nice. We got a couple 
three uh, third interest guys right here. Corner, right end. Wow, three right outside linebackers. If we could get any of those, that would be sick. Let's start at quarterback, okay? We have any three-star quarterbacks interested in? Scrambler, okay, the scrambler is really gonna be a big for us, especially running the, the spread offense. If we need somebody that can make plays with their legs. Big thing is gonna be speed, okay? Same here, okay, power back, not really speed, but we need everything, okay? Um, so let's add these two elusive backs. Don't need fullback, once again, speed at the receiver position. Route runner, three, four, five. Trying to get just add a good mix here. Okay, offensive tackle. This is where, wow, not a lot of offensive tackles are interested. I already added a couple defensive ends. I'll add one more here. Two more. D tackle. Let's add one. We already have a middle linebacker added. Let's go corner. Okay, Pentrell Blankenship. And then free safety, Ramon Dingle. Let me scout these quarterbacks first, figure out who we really want to go all out for. And then we'll come back. We got 575 hours to work with, 96 throw power, 96 speed. Oh my God. This guy is amazing. Manny Wade, 96 power, 96 speed, 92 excel. Option King, team player, headstrong. Oh, let me just make sure there wasn't any four stars that it recommended on this screen for us. Because sometimes it does that. All right, we got them all. And look, odds are we're probably not going to get these guys because. I imagine they're going to come in and get a big offer this first week. And then at that point, we'll remove them and then we'll uh, we'll make changes. All right. So we're going to go through here and we're going to add all these guys scholarships and then scout the ones we can. I love looking at the names, dude. I have, there's this page on Twitter that just posts like random funny names. And like I was looking at these today and they're just funny. Um, there's one. This one made me laugh and this shows my immaturity. But the guy's name was Chris Peacock. Y'all go ahead and just say that really quickly. That's pretty funny. All right, cool. Look, I, I think we got a pretty good board here. Some people that I'm super excited for are the quarterback, um, Manny Wade. This guy looks like a freaking animal. I'm not gonna lie. 96 throw power, 96 speed. Like, we're fourth interest on him, but I'm afraid Georgia, Bama, Clemson, one of those big boys are gonna come in and offer him. He's a three star, so we got that going for us, so maybe they won't. Um, other than that, where's that middle linebacker at? Ricky Tyree, I think he could be big for us. Four-star middle linebacker. Um, both of these edge rushers could be big because, like I said, down linemen is going to be important. And then, obviously, all of these offensive linemen. We need to get as many of them as we can and just start stacking, right? And let them let the cream of the crop rise to the top and the rest get the hell out. Okay, we got to go through here and figure out who we can realistically get and can't. So, like this guy, Clemson's in for him. I don't think we have a chance. I'm gonna go ahead and remove him. Georgia Tech and Louisville. I do think we can probably compete with them. So we're gonna keep him on here. Riggs, we could be him. We're the only one that gave him an offer. So we're gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna go ahead and send the house. That's how I do this, okay? I go all out on these guys and I try to focus on the quality first. And then we worry about filling out the roster space at, at the backside. Manny Wade, okay, nice. We're going all out for this guy. Send the house. Okay, Roy McKelvin, the running back. Three-star power back. Let's look at his stats real quick. How's he looking? 81, 88 speed, 86 excel, 73. Okay, he doesn't look that fantastic. So we're gonna we're gonna come back to that. Okay, okay. Leonard, Crable. Yeah, this guy. He could be good for us. Let's send the house on him. Three-star center. We're gonna go for this guy, Titus. Another three-star center. Power though. We might go for him. I think so. He can play, he can probably play guard. Blank and ship. Okay, we're gonna go off of this guy. Three star corner. Yeah. Dingle. We're gonna go for Dingle. 150 points left. Really only two people. All right, so we got 14 slots to fill up. So now here's what I typically do whenever I'm playing. Okay, so now I'll come back and look at the board. And first I'll go look at five stars. Usually not gonna be the case, but there might be here. Look, we have one five star. Looks like a tight end, 6'7", 242, that is being under-recruited, okay? He just needs championship contender. We can maybe get this guy because nobody wants him right now. So let's go get him. I love tight ends. Pause. So let's try to get him. But then I'll go to four stars, right? And this is what I'll do, and then I'll see what fits my needs. So, boom, stud D-tackle, Drew Matlock. Let's go for him, okay? Another receiver, Trayvon Street. Looks like a stud, okay? Corner. All right, so now we're getting into where they have one offer, and this is where we tap out, okay? But 
We don't have to do just four stars. Like I said, we removed a couple offensive linemen, so let's go look at the offensive linemen down here, okay? Like, look right here. Left guard. And obviously, you can go... Okay, right here. Right tackle. Kevin Lopez. Juco, sophomore. Cool. Now, let's look at who we just added here. I think we got to go all out for Seth Steffen here. We got to get him locked up quick. Big body. 6'7", 242 from Tennessee. Under-recruited severely. So let's offer him the scholarship. And then let's go all out right here. Send the house. I think we go after the big man. Like we said, we're gonna we're gonna focus on the trenches. Let's add Drew Matlock. But here's what I'm gonna do. Dingle, not as important. Only a three-star safety. So I'm gonna remove him. I'm gonna go for Matlock and send the house. And then I'm just gonna offer scholarships on the rest of these guys, okay? They might come in and somebody might be interested next week, or we might have a free go item, okay? Ian Okorafor. I know Okafor. I've never heard of Okorafor. Let's go take a look at team schedule and see what our schedule looks like this year. Start off against Nevada, Memphis, Iowa, FCS East, Monroe, Texas State, Alabama, Arkansas State, Coastal Carolina, Georgia Southern, Louisiana Southern Miss. Very modest schedule, okay? Troy, in, in real life, my expectation for Troy is to, you know, win nine games, maybe 10 games, make the SEC or the Sun Belt Championship game. So look, for now, we're going to be taking it week by week, especially off the start where these first initial recruits are going to be super important. And then maybe as we get into later seasons, we'll sim halfway, update our recruiting and so on and so forth. Okay. And then some of these are two stars, but we're only a two star school. So we're going to have to build up slowly. Look, DeMarco Griggs, Riggs, that would be huge power rusher, especially since we're running the three, four. That's what we need from our outside linebacker. And we'll go through, just make sure nobody came out of nowhere. Okay. McKelvin, I'm going to remove him. We really don't want comp like competition. As like, as lame as that sounds, we really want a free go at these guys. So look, week one, Nevada's 0-1. Let's see if the Trojans can start off in the win column. And the Trojans start off 0-1, unfortunate. We might jump around a little bit. I might not show you this every single week. This is gonna be tough with the championship contender, but we just have to hold strong and hope that it improves. Yeah, because a lot of these guys, that's a deal breaker for them. Week two against Memphis. Let's see if we can turn it around and get one in the win column here. Oh, and two for the Trojans. Not a great start. I do want to play a little bit. So I might hop in and play this game. Just fun. Maybe we show some highlights. It's the first big game for us. Let's go in. We got a chance to turn our championship contender around. So we're going to play the Hawkeyes here, okay? Look, I could look for Ross on that comeback again. Beautiful on the comeback route. Touchdown, Trojans. Let's, uh, let's, let's let it roll a little bit. Okay. Let's skip moment again. 14-0. Okay, offense. Okay, let's, uh, let's just keep skipping. Let's keep skipping, okay? We're already up 21-7, which is pretty freaking impressive. Not gonna lie. This would be a big win for the program. Man, I thought the wind was gonna push it more to the right. I suck at kicks. Let's skip the moment. Let's, uh... Let's just let the team do their thing. Troy's up 28 to 7. 35 to 7. Troy is coming in to Iowa and putting a beat down on them. Wow, 42 to 7. Where is this team coming from? Wow, 42 to 7. What a showing from the Trojans. That's impressive to me, actually. I can't because they don't they don't want to because of the championship contender. Addison Hurts does look what's his deal breaker coach prestige okay we got that then the house here lafferty what's his playing time he can definitely get that scholarship um okay and we'll do 25 okafor we'll send 25 yeah, yeah okay we'll send 20 and then we'll offer scholarship and scholarship let's see we're not even there for him. I'm going to just go all out for Lafferty, actually. Four-star D-tackle. This guy could be good for us. Nice! Already our first commitment. Tavares Trahan from Lake City, Florida, the center. This guy could come in and possibly start on day one. So this is a huge first signing of the rebuild. Excited to see where it goes from here. Philip Lee, defensive player of the week for Sunbelt. Five tackles, two tackles for loss. Okay. And he's only a junior. We might have him back next year. UL Monroe. Okay. Fully expect to win this game. Shout out to my boys, Bryce 
my boy Dustin, that's their alma mater. So if y'all are watching this, going down, let's go and sort by who's about to commit. Wade could commit this week. Same with Cravel. Fitzsimmons. Riggs, he's a little bit further away. Blankenship, okay. Okafor, I want to put points on him. Left guard, agile, yeah. Big boy, let's put, let's go all out on him now with the 50 points. See, we got to pick and choose wisely because it's very much putting all of our eggs in one basket. And then once that basket hatches, we move it over to the next. And just like that, our second commitment of the year, another center, Titus Fitzsimmons. That's a name, this is a guy I saw already. And I was like, that's got to be on my team, okay? Pinson, Alabama, he's staying in the home state. That's a huge commitment. I might go for Zach Blatchford, four-star corner, under-recruited, just really worried about playing to home. And he's from uh, Central Florida, North Central Florida. Um, so yeah, let's go for him. Black corner, we need those. Okay, we already got the scholarship offered to him. Look, Wade, will, he should commit this week. Travel, close, probably this week. Blanket chip, maybe another week away. Riggs, he's almost to his top three. Florida State's coming in late, though. So this might be a guy where we want to start trying to... Uh, to bring him in on a visit to lock him up and just like that we have our quarterback of the short-term future manny wade this guy on paper looks insane i think he had 96 speed 96 throw power and like 93 excel and pretty decent accuracy so manny might be our guy that gets us over that next level into the playoffs into a national championship we'll see and what's a quarterback without a receiver leonard crable from birmingham he stays close to home another three star this board is starting look i think that's four three stars we've gotten so far so starting to look like a pretty good class let's look at recruiting stage florida state's coming in clemson's coming in i think we got to get him in on a visit week 10 it's not okay i'm not even gonna waste the 40 points on this because he should be committed by week 10. i'm not gonna lie burden right here let's offer that scholarship and let's go all out send the house all right huge commitment our first four star of the rebuild demarco riggs this guy's gonna be insane especially in our three four defense i think he's really gonna be able to tear it up and Kentrell blankenship block corner of the future randy burden we can get him that would be massive i'll tell you what a four star center off the rip would be huge or clutch it real quick here's what we're gonna do we're gonna add the extra 15 points to him right now okay and then we're gonna schedule the visit for next week at coastal carolina and we're gonna focus on playing time which is gonna be an a plus okay all right no commitments this week but 700 xp hopefully that's a win it is trojan up to four and four championship contender down to d plus oh lafferty is into the top three it's between us and Wisconsin. We have his visit scheduled for this week right now. Maybe we can seal the deal with him. I'm really hoping we can, because that will be... He's coming to visit this week. We're putting 65 on him. I think we can get him. Okafor should hopefully commit this week. Cam Quick will remove him. Blatchford's looking good for us. Hearns is looking good. Doggins is looking good. Burden, I don't know. I'm going to bump up and offer more. But he's one that I'm I'm not sure, honestly. We might not we might not be able to beat out Penn State and Bama. Let's see. Okay, let's go Dingle. We got 35 points. Let's put 25 on Dingle. Kevin Lopez, Oregon's in for him, but we're, cl we're quite up, up far ahead. So let's see. Uh, I'm just going to throw an extra 10 on him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. The four-star D tackle from Ohio, Ted Lafferty. We were able to beat out, what, who was that? Alabama that was coming for him. So that's massive. That's huge right there. Matlock, we're still his first choice. Beautiful. Ian Okafor, Okorafor, New Jersey, left guard. He might pump chin and be our starting left guard next year for all I know. That's a huge commitment. We might be able to beat out Clemson here. They're coming in late, but I don't think they're going to catch up. Doggins, Tennessee's coming in late, but I think we can get him. We're close. Hearns, I'm not worried about him. Doggins, Burden, let's see. Schedule visit, week 14. Let's go for that. We're offering him the full 65. Okay. Look, Penn State's a lot closer, but we might be able to get him in. Matlock, we're going to keep it here because we're first place. 
Let's go take a look. Okay, Randy Burden, that's rough. Uh, that's unfortunate, really. Hearns, okay, we should get the commitment from him this week. Doggins, hopefully this week. Podia, hopefully this week. That's one where I don't know if Syracuse is going to snipe him from us. <laughs> All right, and there we go. We got another four-star, Addison Hearns from Georgia. Huge pickup for the Trojans. And Rashad Doggins, the middle linebacker. We beat out Clemson for him. This guy is going to be a staple in the center of our defense. That's a huge get for us. Massive. And Todia went to Syracuse, man. That's two heartbreaks we've had. Okay, Blatchford. Okay, do we want to bring him in on a visit? We can't, but we will bump up to 70 or 65 hours for him. Let's go for Heaps. Julius Heaps, the power back. Ooh, let's offer scholarship. Let's go send the house. Okay. And then let's go uh, Zach Butt. All right. Go 50 here. But we'll go ahead and offer scholarships to a couple of these guys. Well, we beat him out. We got the huge right tackle commit from Utah, Kevin Lopez. That's great to see. I was a little nervous about him. Hard sell and then the contact friends and family. What do you mean the Sun Belt doesn't have that high of prestige? Academic prestige. They call Troy the Harvard of the South. So I don't really know what you're talking about. Med uh, Medin. Ascend a full 25 and 5. How did the rest of the Texas State win 11 and 1? Congratulations to them. That's pretty shocking. We came in fifth in the Sun Belt East. That's not great. So look, we're going to go and we're going to make some staff changes here. Both not really good fits for me. Both only level 16 and they're not they don't fit what i need bruce ogden the three star committed huge leo bigsby the tight end committed ramon dingle the free safety huge week dylan gabriel with the heisman 52 touchdowns and seven picks wow what a season we are in the famous idaho potato bowl troy trojans versus utah state aggies wow what an accomplishment gonna make our players grow i think we might try to go with uh david zapier off our coach I think we might go with uh, Harry Kane's here. Harry Maines here. We did. Troy is Idaho Potato Bowl champions. Our first bowl win in our first season. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Crowder, 3,100 yards, 27 touchdowns, 13 picks. Not a horrible season, Not like to be honest. Taylor, 838 yards and 10 touchdowns. Okay, I'm starting to see a trend here. I don't think that offense was really the biggest of the issues. Jamal Williams Jr. with 10 and a half sacks. Nine, nine and a half sacks. Not yet. Next week, I believe. What did I just say? West Virginia versus Oregon in the college football playoffs. Wow. If West Virginia makes the college football championship, the final round... I'll give everybody that comments on this video. Huge commitment. Zach Blatchford, another four-star corner. This is this is huge. This is a great season for the, the Trojans in the recruiting uh, aspect. So we're still a two-star school. I'm interested to see if that goes up at all. Probably not. Players leaving. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is a lot. This is a lot, but it's a lot of trash. So, not overly concerned. Biggest concern right here, Chris Lewis. Our stud receiver, probably a captain. Extremely low chance, but you're saying there's a chance. Please stay. Get. All right. Philip Lee, he had nine and a half sacks last year. Let's see. Failed. Okay. Let's try Zariah Beeson. Failed. Not about who's leaving, because if they don't want to be with us now, they don't deserve to be as with us when we're national championships. Champions. Drew Matlock has got to his top three, and guess what? We're still number one. Would we pull off a miracle here? We did. Daniel King, a fourth rounder. Congratulations to the big man himself, the 88 overall right guard. We're going to miss you, but good luck in the NFL. Okay, let's check out the transfer portal. How many people are interested in this? First, let's see if there's any five stars. Okay, there are, but they're not interested in us. Four stars. Any interest? No interest at all. None of them. We do. We have some. We have some really good interest here. Two right ends. Okay. A left end. A D tackle. A right tackle. Okay, hold on. 
Right tackle, Malachi Clarney. Okay, I like that. Deshaun Rucker. Okay. JV Javius Bond. James Bond. Beautiful. Don Medellin. The move to bring him in on a visit. Paid off. Love to see that. Nice. Darius Smith committed. That's huge. All right, we're first on all of these guys here. Hopefully, we can get them locked up here. Zach Butt committed. The three-star right tackle. Derby, the three-star left end. Huge. Ross. Okay, let's just keep going through these. Watkins, love that. Devon Heaps. Nice, we got him. Jamison Moses. Angel Torrance. All right. Paul Wilbur. Beautiful. National Signing Day. Let's take a look and see how our class looks, okay? Let's start from the top. DeMarco Riggs. Shouting. Normal development. Okay, Jordan Ross. Normal development. Impact. Rashad Doggins is a star, baby. Like I do. Adam Watkins, normal. Lafferty, star. Duds on the defense. Smith, star. Duds on the defense, ladies and gentlemen. Matlock, okay, an impact. We'll take that. Addison Hearns, star. Moses, normal. Crabble, normal. Webb, we don't care about him. Weir, we don't care about him. Okafor, normal. Wilbur, normal, normal. Ogden, impact. Derby, impact. Heaps, impact. But normal. Bigsby, impact. Blankenship, impact. Devechko, impact. Medlin, normal. I, we don't care about him. Impact, normal. Trahan, impact. Ryder, Jamison Ryder, star. Impact from Torrance, keeps normal. All right, Manny Wade is only a normal development. That's pretty upsetting. Robert Tubbs did not commit anywhere, and Dingle is normal. How did our class shape up? We were 28th before the last few weeks. We finished as the 25th class in the nation, ladies and gentlemen. I will say myself, that's pretty impressive from a Sun Belt school to finish number 25. Okay, well, it doesn't look like a lot of growth here. Quarterback up to an 82. Do we go with Goose, Goose Crowder again and, and redshirt both of the freshmen? Okay. Not really seeing much growth here, really. Devonta Ross a lot, but the rest of these guys are kind of just bang average. I don't know. I, I think this is going to be another year of not being so good. Let our recruiting class redshirt, develop, get better next season, and then... Um, Take it from there, right? Into the preseason, let's set up our recruiting board. Let me get some guys on here originally uh, to kick it off, and then we'll be right back with y'all, okay? Let's just do some scouting. I'm probably not even gonna go and offer all these guys scholarships. And that guy, he, has, he doesn't look that good. He's a gem, but but he's still a fort. Ooh, Dossie, power rusher, gem. That could be nice. Court, man to man corner. Okay. I'm still probably going to offer this guy because he's a running back. Good speed and excel and agility. He just has low awareness, which that can be fixed by a red shirt. I really wish they would just add like a offer scholarship to all button. That would uh, make things a lot easier. With not that many guys interested in us, we're really going to have to play the whole, um, you know, under recruited guys aspect and uh hope hope and pray we can get some good guys let's go ahead and go through and see okay i'm gonna i'm gonna send the house on this guy same with this guy and this guy and probably this guy gators for subs three star i mean look he seems more interested in us so let's send the house. We'll see after a week. Randy Carney. Wait, I was already after a guy named Carney. Game Cox, probably not competing with that. But what we can go for here is his corner. Tyler Stapleton. Junior Trinidad. That's a name and a half. Troy Priester. I don't know who offered him, so it's tough to say. Do we take a risk? Maybe. 
left tackle. Here we go. No deal breakers. There's just so many right tackles and not enough left tackles. Look, we're going to offer this guy a scholarship. We're going to try to get him. Get wrong one. We're going to try to get him. Okay, we got 35 points left. Let's just offer these guys scholarships. And we don't really have enough points to go for him. Going after Randy Carney. Uh, we might be out of South Carolina. I don't know. We'll give him another week and then we'll make our decision on if we want to pull off or not. Novak, not way too behind. Priester, we're up to number two for this guy. That would be huge. Robert Hardy, I'm okay to lose him. I guess let's go for the four-star tackle, defensive tackle here, Titus Drango. That's a pretty badass name, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and we, we just offered quite a few other guys, or brought them onto the board. So let's go offer these guys some scholarships. Cool, let's start building interest. We start off with FCS Midwest. Let's take a look at the schedule. Let's see. Okay, Clemson, rough. Memphis, rough. Monroe, Texas State. Wow, this actually is a very challenging schedule for Troy this year. All right, cool. No big update after week one, but we have gotten some big name guys that are narrowing it down for us. All right, started off 1-0. Love to see that. Already in the top five on some of these guys. Top eight here. We need to get these four stars locked up as soon as possible, okay? We play number three, Clemson. In Clemson. Can we shock the world, ladies and gentlemen? Who's oh, okay. We did not shock the world. We're down to one and one, but that's okay. That wasn't expected, okay? More guys in their top five. Drango, okay. This was top eight. Arnie already committed to South Carolina. We were pretty close, but I kind of thought that was going to happen. That's unfortunate, but we'll remove him from our board and we'll, uh, we'll keep going. All right, one and one Memphis. Troy, let's get back ahead. Two and one right here. Let's go. Trojans are up two and one. B minus championship contender. That's great to see. Okay. Top three for a few of these guys. Two green gems. That would be massive. Top five on these guys. Okay. All right. No updates on the recruiting front this week. No points. So we'll be one and two Monroe. Let's go. Come on, Troy. Let's get to three and one here. Doing true. Troy lost. Unfortunate. But continuing to move up on some guys. Ezekiel, okay, we're not really putting any points on this guy, so I, I don't think so. Let me go check, double check. Yeah, we're not, but uh, we'll go ahead and remove him. Thugs, close with Florida, but he might commit to Florida this week. Stapleton, good. Trinidad, good. Priester, good. Drongo, good. Sweat, sweet, good. Okay, I'm going to remove Figuero, and I'm going to put it on the left tackle, Sean Putzier. Okay, week six. You might commit here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it anyways. Better to be safe than sorry. What's he like? He likes proximity to home. Okay. All right, we're gonna take it off a of suite for a second. So I can schedule a visit for Suggs. I can't even schedule the visit for Suggs. So disregard. We're putting it back on suite. Let's go. Our first commitment of the year, Brian LeCoucher. Timmy Dossy. And Suggs, we got him. Huge! From Madison, Alabama, that's a huge commit right there. We love to see that. Beating out the Gators, just barely. Trinidad, we're looking good. Stay, okay. Let's get the tight end. We don't really have a good tight end right now. Three and two Troy versus three and two Syracuse. Let's see if the Trojans can pull off a, maybe a little bit of an upset against the ACC opponent here. Top three on three guys, top eight on these others. That's good to see. Uh, Trojans dropped to three and three. Down to fourth in the Sun Belt East. Not great. I got to make sure I don't forget that. We need to go and get a kicker. Let's go ahead and add him to the board right now. Bring me the highest graded kicker. Let's see. Three stairs looking good. Okay. Stapleton. Let's go ahead and add an extra 15 to him. People are catching up. We don't want that to happen. Sweet's looking good. Any. Let's go ahead and just offer scholarship and put uh, 15 points on him. Why not, right? Get that out of the way. That way we're not sitting here sweating, thinking, oh, I got to get a kicker. I got to get a kicker. When it's like, no, we already got this guy, right? We got the number two kicker in the country. All right, Troy 3-3 three and three versus Georgia Southern. Sunbelt matchup. We need a win here, badly. All right, first on all these guys still. Titus in his top three. Dawson is top three. Hearns. Hey, 4-3, and three, Troy win. Okay, we love to see that. We love to see that. And we're moving up. We're first on a lot of these guys. All right. And a huge commitment. The cornerback from Tallahassee, Tyler Stapleton. 
We really love that. That's huge. We're continuing to build up this, this secondary. Just like that, we're also continuing to build up the receiver court with Junior Trinidad and Troy Priester. What's he, like the number five running back in the country or in the class? That is huge get right there from Clackamas, Oregon. You tell me where that is. You're a liar. Troy, four and three. Okay, off of our bye. But huge week of commitments right there. That's massive for us. Going into the battle for the belt in Troy this year, we got 165 points. Drango will commit this week. Hearns this week. Doss, okay. All right, South Alabama, this is a big win for us right here if we can get this. Our biggest rival in Troy. We're both four and three. Let's go, Troy. Come on. The coolest name that I have seen in this game yet. Titus Drango, the four-star D tackle, commits. Let's go, baby. And Trey Sweet. What a week. Huge commitments right there. We're looking good here. And we won. Troy's up to five and three. Five and three, Troy. Four and three, Raging Cajun. Let's see if the Trojans can improve to six and three. All right. Two-star center commits. Not a big deal. It's a depth guy. Same with Jamison Kasey, but we'll take him. All right. Look, we're close on these other guys. We're first on a lot of them, starting in the top five, top three. Troy proves to six and three. That's awesome. Championship contender is up to a B. Our defense has improved quite a bit up to an 84. That's good to see the growth throughout the season. Six and three, Troy versus three and five Southern Miss. Let's go Trojans. Come on, baby. Nice. The four-star tight end, K. Doss commits. And the four-star D-tackle. Huge week. We're first on quite a few guys here again. But Troy dropped the game to Southern Miss to go to six and four. That's unfortunate. Let's see if we can beat Arkansas State. All right. Jason Tut, left tackle committed. Another big commitment. First place on a lot of these guys. But Troy drops to six and five. Another subpar season. Yes, let's add 65 points to my boy Enrique Stokes. Try to keep building up the offensive line. Keep building up the offensive line. All right, let's see. Can we go seven and five right here? James Madison, big game to end the season. Another big tackle commits. Sean Putzer, Clay Samia, right tackle. That's two big offensive linemen this week. First on a few of them, but we're getting locked out on some. And Trojans improved to seven and five. Third in the Sun Belt, but an improvement over last season nonetheless. So that's great to see. Okay, I'm not even sure how to pronounce this guy's last name, so I'm not even going to attempt that. Let's see, how do we do in our conference? We're third in the uh, Sun Belt East. Tied with UL Monroe for second, actually, at five and three. Let's advance. All right, Malik Waters, the right tackle commits. Huge commitment right there. An improvement to seven and five. Let's get a bowl game and we can maybe get an eight win season here, which would not be bad. Move on from there. Nelson Bolden, commitment huge. David Newcomb, huge. Two three star running backs. That's what we need. Jalen Milrow with the Heisman, 39 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. Ooh, Western Michigan Broncos in the 68 Ventures Bowl. Mobile, Alabama. Okay. A little bit of a somewhat home field out, uh, advantage for us there. Okay, let's see. Can Troy win eight games this season for the first time under Coach Your Boy Pace? We cannot. We lose, unfortunately, in the 68-whatever bowl. But Addison Hearns, freshman Sunbelt Offensive Player of the Week, 150 yards and three touchdowns. What a game, young man. Hemson wide receiver. Interested. Okay. All right, a running back. Let's go with this John Allen Richter. All right, quarterback. Another receiver. <clears throat> okay, offer scholarship here. I'm going to offer him uh, probably a full 65. All right, first on all of these guys. That's huge. Let's go and up the points on a few of them. All right, let's take a look at this class. National Signing Day. We got all of them. We got all of them. Except for this guy. We don't get you. We don't want you. 33 strong one, two, three, four, five, four stars, I think. Top classes. Let's see how the Trojans made out. 29th this year. Six, four stars. 25, three stars. Two, two stars. Most notably, though, Roy Priester, I believe was his name. The number five running back in the country. Number 11 D tackle. The number 16 receiver. The number 28 corner. Like just some huge pickups for a school of Troy's caliber. That's awesome. All right, let's see. Hopefully we got some good growth right here. 
quarterback position specifically. Wade up to a 79, 96 speed, up to 96 change of direction. Okay. Run, throw under pressure, break sack. Yeah, Manny Wade is going to be our guy. I mean, look at all the, the traits he's got. He's only normal dev, but like, I mean, this guy just looks freaking insane to me. Troy Priester is our best running back, as is week one. So that's a little not ideal. Okay, receivers. Hearns is up to an 80. That's sick. Okay. Any of these other freshman red shirts? Not really much. Kind of disappointing. Tight ends. Our Schwartz is up to an 80. Not much growth, though. 84, excuse me. An 86 overall defense. Wow. That's actually rather impressive. All right, let's set up a recruiting board. Four stars. Okay, right outside linebacker. Running back. Corner. Tight end. Three stars. Let's see. He tackle free safety. Drango. What if he's related to our Drango? We'll leave it at that. Okay, let's go ahead and offer scholarship. Hippenheimer. Hippenhammer. Uh, okay, let's go through offer all these guys scholarships and then we'll do some scouting. So look, we just got done setting up our board and I found a couple gems here at quarterback. This guy, green gem, three star, 94 throw power, 97 speed, 96 excel. But 57 awareness. So he's probably going to start off pretty low overall. But redshirt him for a year. Let him sit for a year. And then maybe he could be the guy. Shit, Hippenheimer already blocked me out. Shit. I'm doing 84 overall, though. That's pretty sick. All right. Let's let's uh, let's take a look at these guys. See. All right. The tight end. Let's go. Let's send the house, baby. Okay. This is the guy. We want to go for this guy also. We go through and offer these guys scholarships, right? And then figure out Leo Leuenberg. What a name. All right, DeAndre Golson. Let's go all out for you, my boy. Full 65. Um, Abdul Johnson, the number three tight end in the class. Let's go all out for you. Full 65, my buddy. Why not? All right, let's advance a few weeks here. Um, I'm going to set this to first CFB poll, but probably stop around like week three. All right, so we'll look, we're jumping right back into week five, and we already got a commitment from Abdul Johnson, the four-star tight end. I think he's actually like one of the top five tight ends in the country. He's the number three tight end, which is huge. All right, so week five, Troy's actually 4-0, which is insane, okay? Look, we're missing out on a couple of these guys, but... Uh, we're looking very much bigger picture now, okay? It's about supplementing our first two strong recruiting classes, okay? The fact that we're 4-0 is insane. Let's go clean up our board a little bit. And uh, once I do figure out what we do for scouting, I'll be right back, okay? We already got the number three tight end in the class committed, which is a huge pickup for us. We're pretty close on a couple of these guys, uh, mostly three stars. This gem quarterback, which could be a stud. But we're pretty close on this four star that is 6'5, 221 scrambler. Uh, I'm thinking this guy might be like the next Cam Newton or something. So that's just be a big get. Another top 17, the number 17 corner, stud quarterback here, a center, a four star center, which would be awesome. And look, we got a couple other guys that are right behind him. So I'm hoping here in a couple weeks we get a few more commitments and then we'll reassess and we'll circle back. All right. Let's take a look at the schedule and see uh, what's the case been. So look, we beat South week one. That's strange. They never played them week one. Sam Houston, Mississippi State, the upset on an SEC opponent. Let's go, Troy. Look, we got some challenging games. We got Wisconsin at Wisconsin week eight. But look, I don't see a reason why Troy can't contend for the Sun Belt this year. It looks like we're second. So somebody else has got to be pretty good this year. Texas State. Okay, they're two and two, though. Okay, they're going with Wade, and he's having a great season. Through four games, 1,000 yards, eight tutties, and two interceptions. Uh, Priester, not the best, but only 49 carries. We're, we're, we look to be a pass-heavy team. Um, and wow. Okay, Juwan Boyd is balling out. Jamari Hawkins, transfer. So he's a senior. I was about to say, I was like, I swear, I just got that guy. Um, defense, how are we looking? I think our defense is what's killing it. Bigsby with four sacks through four games. Ryder with three sacks. These redshirt freshmen are killing it. 
We're going to sip a few more weeks and we'll be right back, okay? All right, we're hopping in week nine. And as you see, another four-star commit. It looks like things are going great for us here. We're first on quite a few of these guys, okay? Which is good. Now, here's the thing. Let's see what our record is. We were 4-0 last time. We are 5-3. and three. Wow. Troy's really uh, dropped the ball over the last four weeks. That's unfortunate. Ah, uh, damn. We lost out on the next Cam Newton to Alabama. That's a shame. We're third, and we haven't done anything for him. So, let's... Uh, all right, Bobby Drango. Yeah, we got his brother playing for us. So we're going to bring him in. Uh, quarterbacks, how are we looking? Fisker committed. Nice. What else did we need? We needed left tackle. Cantwell. Okay, how are we looking for him? All right, let's go and focus on Cantwell here. All right, cool. Look, we made a couple changes. We, uh, we're kind of just going down the board now, okay? Trying to lock up some of these guys. We've got a good bit of commitments already. So let's see. Let's see if we can wrap up some of these recruitments and maybe we can make the Sunbelt Championship game. All right, we got that left tackle. We were going for Austin Cantwell, which is a position in need. Okay, so first off, Troy finished nine and three, which is second in the Sunbelt, unfortunately. We're up to an 85, but talk about a good improvement on the season, nine and three. Um, we lost Bullware, unfortunately, on a, the final day of the season to Florida State. Fancy send to Ohio State. Damn, those are a couple heartbreakers there. We went nine and three, which is awesome. Crazy, our three-star quarterback that's like insane is the lowest rated person on our board. That's pretty wild. Troy finished second at nine and three and six and two. Southern Miss is gonna get in. Um, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Bobby Drango committed, huge. All right. Uh, we're second on a couple of these guys, nine and three, B e plus championship contender. We're up to an 85 overall though. And we're a pretty young team. If I recall correctly, nice. The receiver commits Akil Falk. Hey, what bowl game are we getting? Max Brown quarterback from Charlotte wins it 49 touchdowns and 10 interceptions. Interesting. Troy versus Ball State in the Myrtle Beach Bowl. Let's see. Can we get to 10 wins this season? Please. Bort has reached his top three. And we did. Troy Trojans win 10, 10 games in your boy Chase's third season. What a accomplishment. Congratulations, gentlemen, on the Myrtle Beach Bowl. Ah, uh, that's a bullshit type of bowl game that Troy would actually get to. That or the RL Carrier Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. The biggest piece of shit bowl game out there. Let's sim to the national championship. Let's see what stupid team wins it this year. That's not the Troy Trojans. Oregon defeats Pitt. Okay. Oregon? Yeah, believable. Pitt. I mean, it's 2026, so it's not even like it's that far in the future. So, I don't know. A minus coach ability, A minus prestige. So, look, we really need to move up to a three star school. That would be very massive for us. Losing our punter, left outside linebacker. 285 overalls. That's uh that's big, but it's actually not that bad. Like I said, we're a pretty young team. See if we can maybe scoop up some veteran leadership in the transfer portals here, some impact players, and uh see. Nice. Another commitment from Bryce Wilbur. Right tackle. I told you we're beefing up the line. That's the focus. No five stars in the portal. No four stars interested in Roy. Let's check out three stars. Okay, free safety left up. Let's just add all of these guys. Y'all let me know what you think is the best method for getting these guys out of the transfer port. Is it kind of just the same as, uh, as, ev as you know, the regular prospects or do you have a different approach? Now we just need to keep adding in the depth and let them develop and come up and then, yeah. National Signing Day 2026. Let's take a look. How do we do? The 38th, still the top on the Sun Belt, so. Um, five, four stars. We'll take that. Once again, we're trying to focus on adding that quality. I keep, I forgot to look at this last year, I think. Normal, impact, impact, impact. Star for the receiver. Nice. Star for the corner. Impact, normal, impact, normal, impact. Star for Cantwell, the left tackle. Impact, normal, impact. Okay, cool. This is going to be the big season here. This is coming into season four. This is our third full class. So, um, wow, Fitzsimmons, huge upgrade to an 89. 
Okay, wow. These were some big changes, actually. Okay, weight up to an 85. That's huge. Huge, I say. All right, Priest are an 82. We're up to an 88 overall at Troy. An 88 overall at Troy is freaking crazy. Tight end or quarterback, I mean, receiver, excuse me. It's still very weak. Tight end, solid. Left tackle, 89 overall is insane. 89 overall left guard, insane. I just made these changes, so this is awesome. 87 center, 85 backup, 89 right guard. All right, this is cool seeing these guys I've recruited that are, you know, turning into studs now. We built this. Latchford, 85 overall. Y'all remember him from year one offseason? Look at that. Fitzsimmons. I love this guy's last name. Tyler Bell, I think he was already on the team. Medlin, we recruited him. Trahan, we recruited. Diggs, I think we recruited. Wade. Yeah, this is cool seeing these guys that we brought in start to do good. So we're up to an 88 overall now. Oh, I thought we were about to get Adrian Peterson. Okay. Cool. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to sim to the first college football playoff bowls. Yeah, we're looking. All right, guys. Look, after eight games, we're eight and oh. The simulation is finally working for us right now. Now, here's what I'm interested to see. I'm interested to see how strong our recruiting class goes. Because for this season, I turned on the auto recruitment. So let's see how it goes. But this could be uh, this could be our first real chance at the national championship. Do we get any of these four stars? All right, quite a few three stars have committed. Two stars, which I don't really like to see that they're going after two stars. Um, let me go back to national rank. Okay, so we're not going after any four stars, it would appear. That's cool. We are eight and zero. Let's look at take a look at the remaining schedule. We have Louisiana. We have Arkansas State. We have Southern Miss and UL Monroe, who is also seven and one. So we might be able to do something amazing here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at our team stats real quick. Wade. 13 touchdowns, 7 picks. He's not really having the best of seasons. Priester, not the best of seasons, actually. These guys really aren't doing that great. So, uh, it must be our defense. But look, we're ranked 11th in the country right now. Um, so let's sim for Week 15, and let's just hope. Let's hope we can get it done. Three-star Damian Coates commits on her head. All right, I'm, I don't want to... I'm not giving all these two stars a shout-out. All right, here's the moment of truth. What was Troy's record? 11 and one, baby. First in the Sun Belt, number five in the country. Wow, what a season. We play against number 20th, Old Dominion in the Sun Belt Championship game. This game is everything. Right now, they have us in as the five seed, the seven seed, okay? Old Dominion's in as the four seed. So how is that possible? If we beat Old Dominion, will we be the four seed maybe? A four loss team, a three loss team, a three loss team. And... All right, let's check our stats. All right. All right, Manny Wade, he he flipped it on. 2,800 yards, 25 touchdowns, and eight picks. Great year. He's up to an 86. All right, Priest, are only 766 and seven, but... uh, uh Earns 830 and 9. Let's check our defense. Holy shit. Jordan Ross, the senior. He was on the roster. We didn't recruit him. We just developed him. 15 sacks. Matlock, our recruit. The guy that locked us out and is balling out 10 and a half. Ryder, our guy, 10. Lafferty, 8. This defense is freaking crazy. All right. This is sick. We have a 56 overall punt. Holy tits. Let's see what we got. We're number five. We're going to play the moments against Old Dominion. 88 overall to 81 overall. I mean, genuinely, we should win this game. Conference championship game. It's hosted by Old Dominion, which is uh, probably historically inaccurate because the way the Sun Belt works, the highest, the better team hosts. We only have one loss. They have two. I would think Troy should host. 
But the number five team, the men of Troy, the Trojans, raise your Trojan sword, baby. And that's not a sexual innuendo, okay? It's an actual thing. Okay, they put me in on the first drive. Here we go. Here we go. Time to ball out. Our quarterback with 97 speed, 96 throw power. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Oh! Troy Priester! The first play! Danny Houseman! 75! This team is electric, baby! I might scramble with Wade here. He's got 96 speed. He's faster than Priester. Alright. Dropping back. It's Wade. Oh yeah. Looks like he's gonna run it. He's fast. Trinidad might be open. Priester out the backfield. Alright. Gonna pick up the third and short through the air. Tempo, we're going for it. We're hopping in here. Come on, Priester. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we're getting points this drive. We're getting points this drive. And then we're going to hop back into the sim. Hearns. All right. We'll take our field goal. We'll take our points. Fuck. God, I am a liability when it comes to special teams. Let's go, Priester. That's two for him today. This guy's an animal. No swag whatsoever. Come on, speed option. There we go. To McIntyre. Another rushing touchdown. Roy, the rushing powerhouse. Let's go, Priester. Priester, two for him. tackles into the end zone. Give this man player of the game. Defense better adjust. Quarterback escapes the pocket. Easy. Touchdown. Get juked. Touchdown. That's going to be game, probably. So, 52 to 20 in the Sun Belt Championship game. And the Troy Trojans likely clinched their spot in the college football playoffs. Troy Priester, what a game. 13 for 178 and three touchdowns. First carry of the game was a 75 yard house call. That's how you set the tone. Let's take a look at the bracket. Your Troy Trojans are the number one seed in the country at 12 and one, baby. Nice coordinator of the year to my offensive coordinator. Congratulations. All right, South Carolina quarterback, 42 touchdowns, seven interceptions. Wow. And we will play Nebraska in the quarterfinals. Ladies and gentlemen, the Troy Trojans we're the number one ranked team in the playoffs. Here come the Trojans. We might have, we have a little bit of home field advantage here. Atlanta's only about three hours from Troy. Time to rise to the occasion, Troy, against the blue blood Nebraska Cornhuskers. We're gonna let the computer to go the first drive and the second drive. All right, we're gonna hop in here. We're gonna hop in here, see if we can't put some points on the board. I missed him. All right, we'll take the field goal here. We'll take the field goal here. Early. It's, it's super early, so... We'll take our points. Corner route right there. I'm looking for McIntyre out of the backfield. McIntyre out of the corner! Break a tackle! Get in! All right, sick. Victory formation. We take down Nebraska. The Cornhuskers are going home. The Trojans are advancing into the college football semifinals. <clears throat> Took me a second there. Priester, 77 rushing yards and no touchdowns, but he had a couple receiving yards, so he probably came through in the clutch when we needed him most. And the Trojans will be facing last year's national champions. The one seed, the Oregon Ducks, in the college football playoff semifinals. 88 overall versus 85. Starting to get pretty, uh, you know, that's a big gap there. So, and here we go. In AT&T Stadium, Jerry's World, right in my neighborhood. The Trojans will take the field to face the Oregon Ducks. Let's see if we can do this. This is our toughest competition we have played yet. Let's let the sim go first. 
All right, they drove down but had to punt. Oregon's up 7-zip. Troy goes down and answers 7-7. Seven, 10-7. Seven. Seven. All right, two minutes. Let's go and uh, <clears throat> a little two-minute drill here. I mean, look, if they're just going to give me 25 yards to rush, I'm going to take it. We're going to put two clock on there a little bit. <clears throat> Let the clock run down a little bit. We'll take it off after this play, probably. And then nobody accounts for the quarterback on a run. Nice comeback route. See, that's where I love the uh, free form. Oh, yes. Give me all the room. Touchdown. Let's go. Of course, they got out of score with 30 seconds left. That's just how this works. I feel like that happens. Every time there's like 20 seconds left, a minute left, computer goes out of scores. Okay. 17 to 14. Boy goes down and makes it 20 to 14. Interception. Okay. Two minute drive. Let's go. Let's go, Troy. Right here. We're in there. Side of the 50. This is the foot down on the throat right here. This is the finishing move. This is going to take it to two minute warning at least. Wow, Troy Priester actually was second in rushing yards this season. That's pretty sweet as a sophomore. I haven't checked the stats yet because the season's not over. I'm so tempted to call an audible and throw this here and just pop it over, but I'm not going to. Priester, huge run. 12 yards, third and one right here. Give us two options. We need one yard. Priester for one. Priester, first down. That might do it, ladies and gentlemen. The Trojans are up six. They get their last time out here, and we go into victory formation, I think. All right, that's their last time out. Sergio Penny from 33 out. Yes. Victory formation. The Trojans are going to the national championship, baby. 23 to 14 against the repeat champ, the former champs, the number one team in the country. Move aside. The Trojans are here and we're ready. Manny, 13 for 20, 185. Priest are 78 yards on the ground. Manny, 62 yards on the ground. This is just a tough defensive game here. 23 to 14 against the number three South Carolina Gamecocks. Welcome to the national championship. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we've all been waiting for. The year is 2027. Your boy Chase has come in and had three strong recruiting classes. The 11 and five Gamecocks versus the 14 and one Trojans. We're going blackout. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the national championship game. The Trojans are wearing all black because today it's the Gamecocks funeral. The Troy Trojans of Troy, Alabama are ready to win their first ever national championship. 2028 national championship. I think we got to drop hop in here on this first drive. Okay. Hop in. See if we can make something happen. We're at midfield. Good job from the defense. Oh, Manny Wade. He almost busted that. All right. We're going to keep the ball on the ground. We're going to initiate the run. I should have probably went to the edge. I have the speed. I could have got there probably. Um, bubble. Okay. Let's see if this works. Go Boyd. All right. Nice. Look, the screens are an extension of the run game. We got to set the tone early here. All right. Screens don't work good for me. Like halfback screens. I right, turns on that comeback route just like last week's game. 
nice job by this defense. Not only do they pressure the quarterback and get All right. We had to get it out quicker. We didn't have the time to set and let it develop. They actually waited to the last possible second to get touch pass. Who's this going to? Okay, Harold. The transfer. Let's house this baby. All right, we didn't house it, but we'll take the first. We're driving. I want to try this PA read again. I want to hit Hearns on that comeback. We'll take a timeout where they check it out. Offense will set up on first and ten. Hearns, come back in the end zone. Touchdown pass, Manny Wade. Bye, boys. My first four-star receiver right there. Let him celebrate. Soak it all in, baby. You trusted me, and I trusted you. I told you when I was visiting you in your parents' house, one day you're going to be a national champion. And here we are, 60 minutes away. Oh, and the computer goes down and scores again. 21-7, Trojans. All right. Let's keep going, Sim. 24 to 7, 24 to 14. At half. 31 to 14, 31 to 17. Come on, Trojans. 38. Ladies and gentlemen, this is turning into a routing. 38, 24, okay. Two minutes left. Seven point game. We got to turn in here. One last drive to seal it all. Use the running game to chew on this clock. Priester, bust through. Don't get caught. 73 yards. Electric dagger. The Trojans are going to win. A minute 30. All right. Just like that. It's not over. It's not over. <clears throat> One more drive. One first down. That's what we need. Ball handed off. Okay. Seven yards from Troy. Hold on. Here we go, baby. Hold on to your pantalones. First down. Priester's fighting for more. This guy's an animal. Trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Oh, first down here for this offense. One timeout left. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Go down. He Last timeout. So Victory two. formation, baby. You know, it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. And the offense will just take and. Your Troy Trojans are national champions, led by Coach Yaboy Chase and star, three-star quarterback, Manny Wade. A true David versus Goliath, the Sun Belt versus SEC, three-star versus five-star. Ladies and gentlemen, they said it couldn't be done, but they have done it. Do you believe in miracles? The Troy Trojans are national champions. The crowd is going wild. The Trojans are bringing it back to Troy. Manny Wade, 441 yards and five touchdowns. Man, what a game from Manny. The three-star decided to have the game of his life. What a team. Let's look at the stats. Manny Wade, 22 of 29. 441 yards, five touchdowns, one interception. This might have been the best game of Manny Wade's career. Priester, 21 for 140. Manny, 25 on the yard, on the floor, on the ground. Carroll, 122. Hearns, 142 and two. <clears throat> Three and a half sacks for Jamison Ryder, the sophomore. He had the game of his career also. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, all about you know any given sunday and today was the trojans day i am proud to announce we are national champions
of the 2028 college football playoffs. This was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, there's definitely more on the way. So y'all comment below and let me know what teams you want to see next. I know I've already got a few planned, but I'll take that into consideration of who you want to see and we'll get to work on it. Y'all make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe for more and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.